Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. The next online session of the National Assembly of Western Armenia was held. Residents of Shushi expressed concern about the housing problem. The Southern Military District reported order release of the Azerbaijani soldiers captured in Artel. Baku's surprise for Armenia. The French ambassador to Georgia in Akhalkalak heard about the social problems facing local Armenians. The ancient Armenian building of Bagash in Western Armenia has become a museum of ethnography. A regular session of the National Assembly of Western Armenia was held. The meeting was attended by the deputies from different countries. During the online session of the National Assembly, the issue of the place, data and agenda of the sixth session of the second convocation of National Assembly was discussed. It will take place on December 18, 2021 in Lyon. The agenda together with his invitation was sent to all deputies of the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia for primary acquaintance and preparation for the discussion. The meeting was chaired by the chairman of the Republic of Western Armenia's National Assembly, Leonardo Basmajian. In an interview with a correspondent of Artsakh Press, resident of Shushi, Vartine Hakopian, said that she was forced to settle in the retirement home of Stepanakert. I had two houses in Shushi city. Today, I live in a retirement home with five children. The directorate and all the staff treat us well. However, the living conditions are not very comfortable. My request is to give us comfortable habitation so that I can live with my children there, she added. All servicemen of the Azerbaijani side who were captured in Artsakh were returned with the support of Russian peacekeepers and currently work continues on the return of the captured Armenian soldiers. This was reported to TASS by the deputy commander of the Southern Military District, Rustam Muradov. Muradov noted that he considers the work related to the return of the captives as a civilian duty of the peacekeeper. As a military man, I understood who are the captives or were and what feelings they experienced while in captivity. I remember the first flight when we took off for Baku and on my return I saw the faces of these servicemen when they had already flown to Yerevan to Arabuni airport. They were in tears. They hadn't believed they had returned home, the deputy commander said. Armenian Deputy Prime Minister Maher Grigorian, who presents Armenia in the Trilateral Commission on Unblocking Communication, said in an interview with TASS that Aliyev's statement on Zangezur Corridor come as a surprise to Armenian authorities, since negotiations have been going in a constructive direction so far. Aliyev presented Armenia with an ultimatum after no agreement was reached on any issue at the level of Deputy Prime Ministers in Moscow. He threatens to use force if Armenia did not announce the opening date of the corridor. The failed meeting of deputy prime ministers followed the Sochi meeting, at which Putin revealed that there was an agreement on establishment of the Commission on Delimitation. Putin also spoke about the character using exactly this word. French ambassador to Georgia Diogo Colas has arrived on an official visit to Samtskhe Javak. He visited Akhaltskhe, Ninom Smida, then met with the representatives of now governmental organization of Akhalkalak. The purpose of the visit of the French ambassador was to get acquainted with the situation in Akhalkalak. Representatives of public organizations spoke about problems in the field of education, economy, infrastructure, minority rights, as well as about the social problems facing the densely populated Armenians of Javak, about the proactives of the states to various problems, decentralization, and many other issues. If I can understand what's going on well, maybe I can do something useful for you. And therefore, it's interesting for me, said Diego Colas. The historical building been the city of Bagash in Western Armenia, which has been hosted many civilizations with its 7,000 year old history, has turned into an ethnographic museum, where about a thousand exhibitions shed light on the history of the story. The historic building was restored and handed over the Ministry of Culture and Tourism. The museum is designed according to the standards of modern museology. In addition to the handmade works of the indigenous Armenian people of Western Armenia exhibited at the exhibition, antique objects found during the excavations of the cities that reflect the life of the past are also presented. Visitors to the museum have the opportunity to study samples of textile production, needlework and ornamented works, copper object coins and other objects reflecting the values of the region which shed light on the history of the city. Now the musical part, Armenian folk song, Himiye Lareng. <laughs> Give me 
The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.